I'm Cursing Mushroom, and welcome to another Destiny 2 video. I know, it's finally here. The day we've all been waiting for, Weapon Wednesday. So, what's up, Guardians? It's your man, Cursing Mushroom, here. And now that Faction Wars are here, it gives us options for new loot and new weapons, especially for Weapon Wednesday. So, today's weapon is going to be the Dead Orbit submachine gun, okay? And let me tell you, this thing is nasty, okay? But I will tell you this, you have to be close. Don't think you can snipe with this thing. It's not going to work, okay? Just get up close. Almost fell there. <laughs> get up close and do work. I mean, you got to be close, but man, can you just rain freaking bullets, okay? And I love it. I absolutely love it. Get in close and just take out your targets. I mean, it's got those great perk combination, high cal, what everybody loves, the high caliber rounds, which is good, especially for a submachine gun, because when you're up close and you can send a lot of rounds fast, I feel like the high caliber rounds is a lot more effective because you're hitting them a lot more times with bullets. And so if it's the same small percentage of flinch, I feel like it's more effective. Up close, it kind of throws people off guard. Also, it's got the reloads portion of the magazine, or re, excuse me, reloads a portion of the ammo into your magazine when you melee kill somebody or something out in the wild. And it'll give you 12 rounds, okay? Doesn't seem like much. It takes about mm, 15 to 20, I'd say, depending on headshots and stuff like that, um, to kill an actual guardian in PvP. So it can be like a tide turner, you know. There's many times I would be shooting an enemy melee them after I, you know, was about about done, about done, you know, and, and got the kill with the melee, healed myself, and then it gave me enough ammo back to finish off their friend, which was nice, okay? Just be mindful of the range of this thing. But I'm going to go ahead and show you the stats and all that good jive for this weapon. So give me two seconds and I'll be right back. Show the stats, man. All right, guys, let's check it out. The escape velocity. Hmm. Okay, so it's got grave robber as its trait. Okay, melee kills, reload a portion of the magazine. You've also got high cal rounds. You've got steady rounds. And then you've got the IS-5 circle and the IS-2 classic. Okay, and then lightweight frame. Superb handling. Move faster with this weapon equipped. This thing right here, these two combined become lethal. Lethal, if you know what you're doing. Okay, and then, of course, the runner-ups are going to be the stochastic variable. Okay, and what really ruins it for me is the same thing that happened to the Iron Banner auto rifle. Tap the trigger trait. I do not like that. There's sometimes I pull my trigger and it does not fire. I wish they would remove that, to be honest with you. Um, it's got high cal, um, and I noticed phase magazine it is better in PvE with this. Um, I like it better personally. And then you've got your accurized rounds, your candle sight, your torch sight, and then lightweight frame for better handling. Okay, and that is the runner up. All right, I'm back, Guardians. So, what do you think of the stats of this weapon? I think that it's great as long as you're up close. If you're not a confrontational guardian in terms of PvP, now this is a good weapon for PvE as well. You just have to be close. If you see I just shot there and it's pointless. You cannot shoot people far away. You have to be close enough to get those kills. But if you are close enough, you will just absolutely destroy the opposing enemy, whether they're using this or that or if they're using this or that. It doesn't matter what they're using. I've noticed, this is probably one of my favorite weapons in the game. I'm actually really happy with it because I love submachine guns. Everybody knows that Cursing Mushroom likes submachine guns. But this one, it's kinetic, which makes it do increased damage in PvE, which is nice. And, uh, hello, it's got great perks for PvP. So, I think I'm going to be using it a lot. I'm going to be practicing it. Uh, pra excuse me, practice using it in multiple modes and all that stuff, but just be mindful. If you're not up close and personal, you don't want to, don't even worry about it, okay? This is not for you, but you never know. You may try it and love it. So, okay, I, I also does something a little different that I noticed that I was like, what is that noise? Like, I, I was playing with it, and 
I just kept getting this weird noise going on. I'm like, what is that noise? It's bothering me, right? So I'm going to play this little clip here and check this out. When you swap to it, I know, crazy, right? That thing is making that sound and it was confusing me. I don't know of any other weapons that make those kind of sounds when you transfer, you know, back and forth, but hey, I, I thought it was cool after the whole process of understanding what it was. I thought I was just going crazy. But another reason I really enjoy this weapon, that I thought that was just cool, I had to put that in there, is the grouping of this weapon. If you look at it, it's actually really good for a submachine gun at that range right there. I mean, it's not far range. It's That's about where you want to be. You don't want to be trying to snipe, like I said before, but in comparison to like the Antiope D, and you can check my little video of my weapon Wednesday on it above you right now if you want to, but it's grouping. It's a little bit harder to control in my, in my personal beliefs. It's got a little bit more of a large range grouping instead of such of a, cl a close knit but that's just me. Now, of course, the Antiope's got its own personal preferences as to why it would be good. is more range, more damage, stuff like that um, at that range now. But this Weapon Wednesday is about this submachine gun that is just fantastic, okay? And I hope you guys enjoy this video. It's been great. It's been fun. If you do like this video, give me a thumbs up and only if you like it. Don't forget to hit that little red subscribe bar there and hit the little bell next to it so you can be notified when I post new videos. But other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. It's been fun. Cursing Mushroom out.